you know, like most broadcasters, we were accomplished in shooting the story, editing the story, scripting the story, all of those sorts of things. It was a relatively static presentation, sitting behind desks, not, not doing anything but just telling the story. We kicked off a project around the end of 2016, and what we all agreed was that we needed to find new, innovative, and immersive ways to tell stories. We landed pretty quickly on augmented reality as a tool that we could use. Some of the challenges that have always come across with augmented reality graphics throughout most studios and most teams is believability. Most of the time you can get away with stylized graphics which can help separate the presenter with what you're trying to show, if it's whether it's content graphics or little pull-ups. But Visati has been very helpful to get what we want onto the screens and into the studio. We were already a fairly heavy Visati oriented house and went down a route of how could we utilise our Viz graphics tools Visata stations and more importantly actually our creative talent in developing what we needed to be immersive. The campaign eight months later, 44,000 Allied soldiers were killed, including more than 2,000... Uh, the other more significant challenge was more on the technical side of things. So although we had augmented reality, we were actually also implementing a video wall, a uh, pretty big wall, about 17 metres long. The challenge in getting that wall in wasn't the build challenge, it was actually the look and feel of that wall. Really to give us something that was going to look a little bit like VR, to be honest, um, uh, without doing a VR solution. Both hands on the wheel and ease off the gas. Also so we use um, a range of Viz tools to make AR work well for us, really. So we've We've been a Vismos art automation site for some years, but we needed a way to control the video wall that was going to be the backing behind any AR that we projected. So uh, we looked at a few products, but very quickly landed on Viz Multiplay. VizRT is great at bringing together our vision and our storytelling into a seamless studio environment. We're still the only um, media player in New Zealand that are actually using anything like that um, live to air um, and that's been the case now for a good couple of years so it does really say that we were a game changer in that space, still are. We're looking to the next opportunities of course, you know, what do we do next, you know, what's the next level of um, uh, informing our viewers in even more engaging ways and you know we're exploring that, um, I'm sure that we'll be knocking on Viz's door around some of that as well.